Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the new Chrome Tour Golf Ball from Callaway. Greetings and welcome. Steve Burkowski, Jim Gallagher Jr. with you for this Golf Central update. The Valspar Championship in the books, jam-packed leaderboard to start today. Let's see how this one unfolded. We pick up Peter Malnati, nine under through ten, one back of the leader until he hit this shot at the 11th, hit it close. Yeah, drove away right, wedged it out to there, and then a beautiful shot there after birdie and 10. He would make birdie, get the 10 under, tied at the top with Mackenzie Hughes, but others in the mix as well, like Cameron Young, his second at 12. You're wondering, is this just his week? And a beautiful shot in here at the par four. That leads to birdie, gets the 10 under, tied at the top with Malnati and Hughes. And how about this putt for Peter at 12 for birdie? No reason to look. How about the reaction? <laughs> <laughs> It's like he had a sense something special might happen. 11 under one shot lead over Cameron Young as we pick him up at 14, his third on the par five. Oh, is this special? He's worked hard on this part of the game. That takes some serious touch right there. No nerves in that one. Leads to birdie, 11 under tied at the top with Malnati. Speaking of Peter, in the fairway off the tee at 16, this is second. Yeah, he hit a gutsy tee shot to here, but then he just kind of gets that over rotation and he pull hooks it. And that means it's going to go long and get down into a nasty lie. But he caught a break because of those sprinkler heads and boy, he took advantage of the rules in his favor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Steve Rintoul's right there. He gets to putt this one, Burkle. That's a huge difference than having to chip it out of that nasty lie. He gives this a run, maybe a little bit more aggressive than he would have liked. But he'll save that for par. Yeah, he would make his four stay at 11 under tied with Young for the lead. Then how about this tee shot at the par 3 17th? One of the best we saw all day long. Yeah, kind of holds that up there trying to hit a little bit of a cut up against that wind that front hole location and what a good time to hit a beautiful iron shot in about six feet for birdie in the outright lead. If he makes it gets the 12 under par. Mm hmm. Is that any good? Yeah, really, really good. Now a little bit of pressure on Young, whether he knows or doesn't where he stands, could not hit this tee shot at the last. Toughest fairway to hit all week long, trying to hit a little bit of the cut. The wind's blowing right to left. He pulls it. It gets carried up into the wind, and that's deep into the pine straw. But a bit of an opening, and he takes advantage at least as much as he could uh, bite off here. Yeah, he tries to loft it back up there. Unfortunately, he gets it up on the green about 35, 40 feet. So not bad from where he had it. Yeah. Not the birdie putt you want to have to try to tie the man leading, but at least you got a look. This is such a slow putt. He left a long putt for birdie at 13, about four or five feet short, but made that. But this is a good 10 feet short. And he would miss that one as well. A three putt bogey in at 10 under Malnati, a two shot lead. And it was all sealed after this at uh, the fairway bunker. Yeah, it came out of there clean. That's a tough shot. You always try to feel like you try to lift it up to that elevated green, but he doesn't. And it lifts up his spirits. Beautiful shot. Now you know the tap in to make it official a par at the last for the 36 year old Peter Malnati, a winner once again on the PGA Tour. Family in tow, happy wife, couple of young kids that one day will appreciate that moment with their dad on the 18th green at Innisbrook. Final look at the leaderboard, Malnati with the two-shot victory over Cameron Young. Phillips McKenzie tied for third, three off the pace. What a back nine, 31 for Malnati who get the job done, and he caught up with Kira K. Dixon. Nine years after you first won on the PGA Tour, Peter Malnati, you're now a two-time winner on the PGA Tour. What did you draw on coming down the stretch to become a winner out of this bunch leaderboard? I have no idea. I just, I told myself I was going to do my best on every shot, and and that was what I did. And I was so nervous coming down the stretch. A lot of those shots, you kind of see it in the, you know, the approach in a 16 was terrible. But I was just like, <laughs> just. So you can't describe it. It's so cool. It's so cool to share it with. Like, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. I mentioned that it's been nine years. Can you describe what that wait has been like to get this second win and get to celebrate with Hatcher Dash and Alicia? I mean, you wonder if you're ever going to do it again, you know, because it's hard. And, you know, in the nine years since my last win, it's gotten a lot harder, too. Like, 
if you look, like, the level of talent out here, guys coming out when they're, you know, 20 years old and they're ready to play on this stage and they're so good. It's just, I mean, you just, you just wonder, like, and so to have, to have this moment, oh, it just, it just feels so amazing. I mean, obviously, you know, my family believes in me. Um, I've got the best caddy. He's been loyal to me for a long time through a lot of, like, down times, too. Um, I'm just so thankful. I'm just so thankful for my wife. She makes this all possible because life is hard. Like, it's obviously glamorous at times like this. And this is my dream job, and it's absolutely amazing. But life is really, really hard, too, when you're trying to figure out how to live this lifestyle and have two kids and be everything that you want to be. It's really hard. And my wife has been a, an absolute rock through all of it. She's amazing. And you know, I've got my mom here. My family's amazing. My little, two little boys. Like, it's just, this just feels so good. It feels so good. Well, congratulations, Peter. Soak up this win. You're now a two-time winner on the PGA Tour. Thank you so much, Kim. Whew, an emotional moment there after Peter Malnati gets back into the winner's circle. And, Jim, you wouldn't think this would have been the week. In seven previous starts heading into 2024, six, six missed cuts, a tie for 60th in 2019. There was no trend or indication that this course and this tournament would fit Peter Malnati, but when you see the emotions, the raw feelings he shared with Kira K. Dixon, considering that it was nearly nine years since he won on the last PGA Tour, what is your reaction? Because you've been in that spot, you were on the tour, winning multiple times, and know what it really means to get it done. Uh, it's up for him, probably, you know, that nine-year stretch or nearly nine-year stretch, like he said, uh, you wonder if you're ever going to win. Uh, but it's validation. Uh, a lot of guys win one tournament out there, and that's an incredible accomplishment. But when you can win the second tournament and et cetera on down there, that kind of validates to yourself that, hey, the first one, not that it was a fluke, but the first one, but the second one's even sweeter, and it shows you how tough it is to win out there when you go that far. Uh, but to be there with his family, because he won the first one without his uh, not having kids, and now to be with his kids, I don't know if his kids will remember that. They may be too young. But it's a special time for him to enjoy with his family. Uh, and you could tell what it meant to him, all the hard work, the ups and downs. And this game will beat you up. You lose more than you win. Uh, and I think that's the difficult time. It's how you react on those down times that uh, the guys that get up and keep fighting. There's a lot of people that might have given up, and I, he never did. And, and good for him. Uh, he played, you know, the best at the end. He, hang, he hung in there. It was a tough week. The golf course is very hard. Uh, the greens were a little re more receptive this year. Uh, if they had been firm, it would have been even tougher. But in the long run, when you look at the cut, uh, there were 77, 77 guys made the cut. They were within six shots of the lead. Anybody could have won the golf tournament going into the weekend. And even going into the last day, there were 11 guys uh, right there within four shots. So uh, he finished it up. He gutted it out. He had some great shots down the line. The tee shot at 16 was about as impressive as you've seen. The, the iron shot at 17 and, of course, 18. Uh, it's just amazing to win on the PGA Tour, but to get that second win, I think it validates for him uh, all the hard work. And you wonder when you're going through it, is it worth it? I'm going to say Peter's going to say yes. Peter Malnati played the back nine and 10 under par all week long. He turned off the outside noise, gained some perspective, and now is very appreciative of becoming a PGA Tour winner once again.